Hello everybody, my name is Jared, and today I'm going to bring you a little video. Um, I bought this computer about a year ago. I bought it just for work. It's an HP Envy 750-120. Um, I did a little review of this video, and people had always asked me on that video, is this a good gaming computer? And my response is always no. That This is basically, I bought this for work, and that's what it was for. Now it has a... 6700 i7 processor in it. Um, I'll leave a description of all the things in it in, in the um, in the description box there, and you can check it out. But people always ask, is it good for gaming? And I would say no, because it had this little cheap graphics card. If you can see it here, this is a NVIDIA GT730. These little graphics cards were basically made for these pre-built computers. And so what I've decided to do since I no longer work from home and I actually go to an office and work, I'm going to turn this into a gaming PC. Now I'm not going to be able to play, you know, 4K Ultra games on it because, I mean, I don't, the graphics card I, I bought is not going to help support that. I was just looking for a nice little budget graphics card and this is what I got. I got a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti Superclocked. Um, now here's some of the things it comes with I'll show you guys. So you can kind of see. Now the reason why, come on focus. Let's get it to focus here. And it's not going to focus. Anyways, the reason why I got this card here is because it was a good budget card. I mean, I paid 150 bucks for it. And I'm going to be able to play most new games in 1080p, which is fine with me. I mean, I don't even have a 4K monitor. And here's the things you kind of need, your requirements you need for it. Right there. If you guys can see, they're not trying to get it to focus, but it's just not wanting to focus on that. Anyways, so here's the actual graphics card itself. As you can see, it takes up two slots, so you're going to need to take out two slots on your computer. But the reason why I got this also is because this doesn't need any external power supply. It runs off because I have a 300 watt power supply here. And this basically plugs into your PCI slot. And I'm hoping that it just fits right in there. Um, I'm going to show you some gameplay of what the computer kind of did before. I just did Minecraft and put some shaders on to show you. And some Battlefield 3 because that's the only games I really have on this. That could pretty much play the, you know, that th this computer could pretty much play. So, I'm going to show you that footage now while I get this installed. You ever ask yourself how this part of the world gets so fucked up all the time? Serious? I just work here, Dave. Thinking about thinking about that. This comes to work here. Gentlemen, welcome. As you know, we're dealing with the PLR insurgents crossing over from Iran. A lot of sectarian tension. Alright guys, um, I got it put in there. It went in fairly easy. 
I'm always a little nervous when installing stuff into a computer because I'm a pretty big guy, so it's like trying to find that right amount of force to put something in so you don't break it. So that was a little unnerving. Um, it fit in there really well. Now the only problem that I kind of had was these little black wires right here were butting up against the fan. So I just kind of zip tied them right there to get them out of the way. But other than that, it just snapped right into place. I had no problems. Knock on wood. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get it all buttoned back up, plugged in, and we'll see if it works. All right, everybody, I have everything installed, hooked up. I had to update the drivers, but I got the graphics card in and everything is up and running. Um, there is a pretty significant difference in the graphics card. I mean, I probably say it's about 10 times faster. Now I do have OBS over here running. I'm gonna show you some gameplay. Now, as you can see, everything is maxed out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some some gameplay now. Now it is gonna the frames are gonna be a little different because when you have uh, OBS open, it kills the frames somewhat because it's using a little bit of the computer power. So it's not gonna be exactly what I'm seeing, but it's gonna be pretty close. As you can see, everything is set on ultra. So let me switch over to that now. At one three, this is Doc Holiday. We got your man patched up down here. We're ready to move him back to the staging area for evac. Can you provide cover from up there? Sure thing, Doc Holiday. Which direction? Over? North side. Misfit, 1-3, in position. Looks pretty clear. Roger that. We are moving. Over. Keep your eyes peeled for hostiles. Our guys are pretty exposed down here. Watch your sectors. See enemy movement, street level. In cover, take them out, one three. On the left, left side. Tango's on the roof, straight ahead. Okay, moving. If the rebels get control of those uplink stations, our walkers could be threatened. Do not let that happen. have activated the uplink. Move on that position. Han Solo has been tracked and spotted near your position. We need to shut down the uplink. Now I'm going to show you guys some Minecraft. Now for some reason OBS is causing my Minecraft to crash. So I'm going to have to go in there and fix that. But I can show you now just with... Um, Zeus, I had Zeus shaders on, okay? So I'm going to show you the shaders that I'm going to be using right here. This is the most graphics intensive shader that I could find. Now, of course, unless you have a 1080 or, or even, you know, running dual 1080s, you're not going to get, like, crazy frames with this graphics, with this, you know, 
with this shader pack. I mean, it's just really graphics intensive. But I mean, as you can see, I was getting, you know, three frames, four frames earlier with this on. And now, as you can see up here, I'm getting about 24, 25, sometimes 30 if I'm not allowed around a lot of water or trees. Um, but yeah, I mean, the huge, the difference this card makes is, is unbelievable. And for 150 bucks, turning an old work computer into a gaming PC, uh, you can't beat it. Um, so that's going to be it. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Got a little information from it. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like. And if not, yeah, you can give me a dislike. Thank you very much and goodbye.